Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Anaya Nicole. And I just wanted to show you guys how I prep the nail, which you guys have seen in another video, but just for a reminder, after I put my tips on, I shave the sidewalls down and then begin to shape them whatever shape my client wants. In this instance, she wanted um, a squarish coffin shaped nail. So we kind of just, you know, went with the tapered square look. And as you'll see, I kind of only filed the sides down. Not too, too much, but to make sure that they fit her nail bed and they were even. So here you see me blending her tips with a 180 sanding band and I get these out of either a local beauty supply store or you can get them off the Amazon and they work really well. Remember that while blending her tips in, you're not trying to shave down her nails any more than you already did while you were doing prep. You're simply just trying to remove any oil from her nail beds and blend in the tips at the same time. As I've mentioned before, the nail prep dehydrator and primer are both from Mia Secret and the Mia Secret primer is no acid. So here you just see me putting on a thin coat of clear acrylic and I only do this just because I feel like it protects your natural nail from any color stains or anything else it kind of just adds a little bit of protection So you'll notice that I kind of placed the yellow acrylic closer to the cuticle this time only because she wanted more of her yellow to show through in the look that we were going for.
This glitter that I'm placing down is a glitter mix that I made. It has AB glitter and opal glitter, I believe, mixed together. And I custom made it for her set. So I know everyone has their own way of creating the ombre effect. My best advice is to do it as best as you can and what works for you. I sometimes put the new color at the cuticle and then work my way up or sometimes you'll see me put the nude right where the color meets the natural nail. So it just depends on how you want your ombre to look. But as you know, any way that you can perfect it and what works for you is always best.
paciencia
am capping the nails with clear acrylic. You don't need a thick coat of clear acrylic. You just need enough to cover. That way when you file the nails down, it doesn't mess up your ombre effect or your glitter. Be careful not to overfile your size. I use a 180-100 grit file um, from Sally Beauty and they work well for me. Sanding band, this is still the same 180 grit sanding band I was using to file the natural nail down. And I only go over this just to make sure that the nails are smooth, but then you'll see me go back in with another 80 grit file that I got off of Amazon just to make sure that the surface has no lumps or bumps in it. La 
paciencia
applying a foil glue and the way this works is after you apply the glue you wait for it to dry clear and then you can like put the foil on there so you'll see me putting the foil in places to get the certain butterflies or flowers that I want.
Test it, keep stacking them bangers.